Welcome back to Strictly Casual. My name is Ryder, and I just got out of a screening for the brand new Scream film, so I'm going to be giving my non-spoiler review, and staying away from spoilers, mainly because I feel like this film relies heavily on spoilers, and I don't want to ruin the experience for you, so hopefully this review will convince you to check out the movie for yourself. We're getting started with the story. Now, the tagline for this film is, it's always someone you know, and I feel like that's heavily prevalent in this film, considering the connections to the original film, the very first Scream film, and that has to do with the characters. This is a very character-driven storyline. We have the legacy cast returning with, of course, Dewey, Gale, and Sidney Prescott, as well as a brand new cast of young, fresh faces uh, introduced in this film. And I think that they balance them pretty well, and they have some great interactions with uh, both the legacy and the new cast introduced. Uh, some huge standouts, of course, Melissa Barrera uh, playing Sam, Mickey Madison, Jenny Ortega, to name a few. But uh, of course, we have the return of Sidney Prescott and Gale, which is, you know, the, the powerful duo, the story. And if I could describe this whole film, then the story in one word, that would be meta. This film is extremely meta for the horror genre as a whole, as well as the Scream franchise and the fandom of Scream and kind of a commentary on toxic fandom. It is very evident that they're trying to say something about toxic fandom and kind of uh, how, how you're supposed to enjoy a slasher film like this. It's pretty funny that there are some, you know, very explicit scenes getting into what that means and kind of uh, uh, how meta you can get with a film with uh, cinematography and kind of fourth wall breaks. And that happens a lot, which I personally really enjoy, uh, especially in horror films, considering it seems like we've seen kind of the same thing uh, with Hollywood, a lot of originals being rebooted and sequels, and it's kind of a requel. It, and then, that's what they call it in this film. So it's pretty meta and uh you just have to see it uh to see this film um any recommendations for this movie to see i would definitely check out the first the original film is a must see for sure and then i put second is the the fourth film the the most recent one which came out in 2011 i believe but yeah this movie is very meta and i think the story is a huge commentary on <laughs> kind of the scream franchise and uh, sometimes how, how toxic fandom can get, which, you know, we've all seen it before. The cast uh, is strong. The cast is great. Uh, there's some huge standouts, like I mentioned before. And I think that Ghostface is a very iconic villain. Ghostface, the, the whole kind of concept of who done it is great. And that's what makes this film, you know, kind of different on its own because you're always trying to figure out who the killer is. But, uh, you know, if you're if you're a very avid moviegoer and kind of can figure out the hints they throw down, you'll be able to pick up who they, the killer is in this film. But yeah, there's a lot of great meta moments. I know I'm saying that a lot. That's just because uh, everything, every it seems like every scene, they were always trying to deliver a message. It's not strong. They kind of embrace it. And it's, uh, it's a very tasteful way on how they do it. Um, but yeah, basically in conclusion, if I could kind of sum up this whole film, I would definitely say that it'll satisfy you if you're a fan of the horror slash slasher genre. And um, I definitely feel like this movie is... Uh, gonna satisfy you if you're a Scream fan as well. I personally have been a fan of Scream my whole life. And uh, this, you know, in, when the first one came out, and I think this this film delivers. It has great writing, it's solid. And I think that they did, uh, they did good by not trying to just rehash another story. There's definitely a, a change up in kind of the formula that they're doing. Uh, but there's also a perfect balance and a per perfect mix of the homages that make the original so great. And there's those hints to the original Scream, as well as some other iconic horror films. So, you know, if you're very, if you're into the horror genre and you're into those type of movies, you'll definitely see that throughout this whole movie. And you'll definitely appreciate the uh, appreciation and love that they put into this film to, you know, kind of honor the fans and, and give them that fan service, but also deliver on giving a fresh new take on what Scream is and, and a slasher film and what that can mean, really. And then you see that, especially in the third act. The third act is pretty entertaining and uh, definitely leaves you uh, kind of shocked with <laughs> what they did. But yeah, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely let me know if you're into Scream or if you're gonna check out the Scream film again. Uh, highly recommend the first original. And then uh, if you wanna, if you have time for more, check out the fourth one and then the second and the third. I know that's it's a weird order, but if you just wanna watch in chronological order, you'll be fine. But let me know if you enjoyed this review. Uh, feel free to become a member on our channel and help support us here at Strictly Casual. Thank you for watching. Follow our social media down below, and we'll see you next time.